Hello, and welcome to a Bald Explorer podcast. Today, I'm with the lovely Julia. Hello. And we're in Hove. We're at Brunswick Square, and we are in the... The Regency Townhouse. We are, because we have been specially invited to an amazing event. Dying like a servant. And uh, one of the organisers of this, I don't know whether it's his brainchild, it is your brainchild, he's nodding vigorously going, it's my idea, it's my idea, it's Paul Couchman, hello Paul. Hello, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Now, um, just so that the listeners uh, to the podcast get a sort of vague idea of what the Regency Town House is, could you just tell us very briefly what it is? I mean... I like to call it a community restoration project. We do restoration, but we also do history research. And the building is full, usually on a Thursday, with volunteers who work from upstairs to downstairs in all different ways, restoring the building, painting, organising events, doing research up in the, up in the bedrooms, the old bedrooms at the top there. Um, well, everything. 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 And it's <laughs> one of the events that we have come tonight, Dine Like a Servant. Now... Uh, it's a curious title, Dine Like a Servant, because when you say that, you think, oh, we're just going to get, you know, crumbs. <laughs> That's what you imagine, or what I imagine. It's like I was imagining us, uh, you know, um, serving the, the upper class and then, uh, then coming down and eating their leftovers. <laughs> but of course, we are standing in the kitchen and the table is all uh, decked out very beautifully. So it's obviously not that. Tell us, tell us what Dine Like a Servant means. So Dine Like a Servant, we um, sort of recreate um, a, a servant's feast, basically. So it's not the everyday servant's meal. It's one, once a year, and this is, this is traditional, once a year the servants would eat incredibly well. Um, servants were very valuable, and so they were treated by their, by their uppers, by their betters, um, very well, once, once or twice a year. We're sort of reimagining that. Um, so we're putting on food that people upstairs would have eaten, but we're eating it in the kitchen. And we're all pretending that we're servants for the evening. And we hope that the guests will join in and get that feeling, especially after a few glasses of wine, that they're also yeah. servants again. And we're going back basically to 1829. So we like to think of it as like time travel. You know? Well, of course, you are a servant because you are the chef. The I'm, cook. I'm the cook, You're yes. The cook. And I have to just describe um, uh, Paul, Julia. He's a lovely man, that's well, for sure. Well, <laughs> he's a lovely man. It is such a friendly face, isn't he? You've but got this fantastic hat on. Um, is that a typical hat of, of the time? I yeah, yeah, yeah. We've copied it from some original etchings that we found. Yeah. It's got this tassel on yeah, the back. Yeah. I mean, you've got, you know, you've got that sort of white cap that you see a lot of cliché chefs wear. But this is... This is strange because it's a, it's almost like a wee willy winky. I was going to say a sleeping yeah, cap, a sleeping isn't it? cap it's with a little modified nightcap. Oh, is it? Yeah, is that what it is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. And then you've got this wonderful jacket um, and apron, all in white. Yep. So you are resplendently dressed as as you would be of that period. Exactly. I mean, the, the, the whole uniform of chefs doesn't doesn't change much. So the, you know, all this crossover at the top. And that's very, very. That was all decided basically in the 18th century and hasn't really altered since then. Oh right. Gosh. Uh, so modern food standards comes from back then. So. Well, indeed. I mean, things have got slightly better. I mean, I. Yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't do it like they used to do it. I mean, they didn't have that great a grasp on hygiene and of no. course we we do yes and i course. i obviously <laughs> yes we can't completely no, step back no, no, in no, time because no, 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 we don't no, want to be poisoned we probably kill a few people yeah, <laughs> no. yeah. So we don't have the constitution as they did back then even then it wasn't so good no that's exactly right yeah yeah people could get away with a lot more and people now they can't obviously no, so I, no. I don't inflict it on them <laughs> so there you are you're going to be slaving as as the true servant here but you're backed up with a whole team of people who yes. are helping tonight tell us some of the people who are helping and what their roles are. So in the kitchen we've got Sue and we also quite um, wonderfully have um, uh, I think it's Marie Louise I hope I've got her name right she's actually a guest tonight oh, okay. she came early because she wanted to work in the kitchen with us oh brilliant so she's been slaving away there um, as a true servant 
you know, she's really got into the into the theme of the evening. She's actually been working as a servant tonight. Oh. So, so, so shortly, she'll be joining you um, yes. at the table as a proper guest. Now, now just, uh, I'm just slightly worried there because I'm beginning to think that at the end of it, you know, you and I may have to... Because we, we've been invited. We haven't paid, like, yeah. perhaps well, everybody else. Well, didn't I tell else's. you? We're no. going to be washing the dishes. Yeah, that's what I feel. Well, you're going to be washing them. I'm going yeah. to be drying them. You're going to be drying them. Yeah. So I'm the scrubber-upper. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. So what's, tell us what sort of thing will be on the menu, then, for the guests tonight. Well, just read you through the menu. Yeah, okay. I mean, we had, we've had we had a major, major disaster today. We, oh, golly. We, we tried a, a, a soup from, a, from Jane Austen's time, um, made it completely according to the um, historic recipe, and it was absolutely horrible. <laughs> it In wasn't, what way was it we, horrible? We all, we all stood around the saucepan saying, well, this is just not nice. It wasn't edible. It <laughs> right. just wasn't just tasty. disgusting. It's supposed to be a beautiful beef broth, uh, yeah. made with very good beef. Um, and it just wasn't, I couldn't serve it. So we all had to rush off to shops and, and basically we've gone back to a, a chicken uh, soup that we used to have on the menu. Um, it is uh, the Marie Antoinette soup. So it's the soup she ate just before she went to the guillotine. Wow. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> well, you know, that's kind of cool, isn't it? It's quite <laughs> creepy it's really in some way. So running down the menu, we've got... Because, I mean, she wouldn't oh, have complained much, which <laughs> she didn't like. What could well, she it, say? It's, well, it was her last meal, so she must have had some sort of a choice on that. Yeah. I guess yeah, so. Yeah, I, I assume so. so. I mean, I mean, we, we don't know for sure. No. We don't know I mean, if, sure. she, you know, if she suffered with a bit of digestion problems, wouldn't have been an issue, really, in her case. Headaches but, or whatever, I think. But running through, I mean, I can just pick out a few things. Yeah. Uh, this wine roasted gammon that we're serving for the main course, that was served at Vauxhall Pleasure Gardens. Wine roast gammon. Wine roast wow. gammon. So it's been roasted in white wine, actually. So it's been simmered in white wine, and it's been roasted in the oven afterwards. Fantastic. And it's got cloves and all sorts of um, delicious um, spices in it as well, which are very redolent of the time. That's really cool. Um, and what, what have you got here? Pick a lily, oh. pick grapes, pickles, peaches. Now, is well, this like the pickles that you made on the video? Absolutely. I mean, but, but, well, behind me here on the dresser, you can see there's all these various jars that we'll be selling tonight and also serving up. So we've got homemade pickle lily, homemade pickled grapes and homemade pickled peaches. They're all from 18th century recipes and really good, really and, nice. And, and yeah, if, and if anybody would like to see how those pickles are made, you and I made a video, yep. you're the star of the video, and um, it's on the Bald Explorer site, it's also on YouTube, and yeah. I and dare my, say you, uh, you... Yeah, my own website, it's got yeah. um, all the recipes so you can follow them. Yeah, absolutely, well. and that was great fun. Um, um, we sell them, we sell them here. Do you? Yeah, yeah, so, people, so the diners tonight, hopefully, I'll be, yeah. I'll be standing there with a few jars in my hands saying... Flogging um, them. Well, <laughs> it all, well, well it's all it. a good... Uh, yes, good, good, it's um, all part of the... The, the funding for this wonderful thing. The only way we can do restoration is through raising money ourselves. Yes. And so we, we will do anything, almost anything, yes. legally. Yes. So we'll make pickles, we'll put on these, you know, we'll put on costumes, we'll put on silly um, servants' evenings um, to get the money in. Yeah. Because we want to restore this building back of to course. how it was. Yeah, and we can see how incredibly passionate you are. Just give us a, oh, sorry. For Amelia Simmons' pom pomkin pie. Yes. Pomkin, that looks like it's an, a, a purposeful mistake as in yeah, pumpkin, it's not pumpkin, pumpkin but it's, no, it's how they used to spell it oh I see so, oh, so right. it's a recipe from 1796 um, I thought you know seasonal I thought I'd do pumpkin pie it's an American recipe but well but from this period right so oh, I thought okay. I'd try something different and right down below at the bottom of the menu My of favorite. course yes Hannah glasses chocolate tarts and again mm. we've made a video on that one so that's really interesting that two of the things that we've worked on um, are here tonight. Are here tonight. Yeah, no, how brilliant. And, and what, we're going to try and do something with pumpkin in the future, maybe. We are. We're hoping to do a live show here from the Regency Townhouse in your authentic kitchen. You mentioned the dresser. I should just mm. describe this dresser, which is from floor to ceiling. And um, what is that? Yeah, it's what, 10 foot, is it? Something, something like that, tall. An amazing French dresser, beautifully restored, and displaying all these incredible bits and pieces, paraphernalia, I suppose, from that period. Yeah, yeah, and I was telling you earlier, I mean, what's lovely is that practically every week we get a knock on the door and there's another um, elderly lady, usually, with um, um, a shopping trolley full with copper pans, with jelly moulds, with things they have in their kitchen that they think we should have. Yes. So all these things are now... Well, it's, well, you can see it's, yes. it's always too much now. Yeah, absolutely. It's all <laughs> historic. Have to start turning them away. Horror, historic miscellaneous, yeah, isn't it? It's, it's got even more of a community feel to it, hasn't it? This, uh, exactly. The love for the Regency Townhouse and its loving restoration. 
wonderful. It is absolutely wonderful. Well, I suppose we better let you get back to work, Paul. Because um, yeah, we're hungry. Yeah, because we're I, hungry. Can I point out the people that are behind you? Yes, no, of well? course. Because we, oh, Glennis, do you want to say a quick word? Come and say a quick word. Yeah, it's a quick word. Bob, 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 Gather your loins. This and is Glennis. This is one of our. Hello, uh, how do you do? Hello. Glennis is our newest volunteer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, welcome this is, to yes, the fold. Thank you. Not it's that I'm of... <laughs> there to have any authority to welcome you, but it's nice yeah. to see you. Yeah, it's a bit of a baptism with fire, this event for me. But I've, um, I was here two weeks ago when we had the Brunswick Festival and the house was opened and um, I served at the teas there. Oh, did you? And, and you fell in love with it, presumably? I did, but I'd fallen in love before. Oh, I, right. I've been here um, to certain events. Yes. Regency dancing and tripping the light fantastic. Well, you've certainly got the outfit today. Could you describe what you're wearing for our listeners? Well, this little number. Well, yeah. I made some of it myself. Self. Right. I made these, my little mittens. Lace, blue lace mittens. Yes. Fingerless and mittens, aren't they? Yes, a bit like, what, lost your mittens, you naughty kittens? In the nursery rhyme? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I made these, 40p. This was material from the shop. What do you That's call those? They're sort sleeve, of s- silky... They're, yeah, little sleeves. So, oh, they're sort of fake sleeves, aren't yes. they? Yes. yes. <laughs> Things get cunning. Hidden. Yeah. And this begins with F. What could it possibly be? Something like fit, fit, fitsu or... Um, do, 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 do you know what it's called? It's the, the cloth around the neck. Yes, it's covering my décolletage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Such delicate words. Yes. Fishu. Fishu. Ah, a fishu, bless you. Fishu. Yes. Fishu. 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 Like a tissue, but a fish. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I should say, this is Judy as oh, well. Oh, let me have my just come into the conversation. Oh, hello, Judy. Hello. And equally, Judy, you're also dressed up in, uh, as, a, as, a serv- well, as a servant, as a serving person. A serving wench. A serving wench. I didn't want to say the word. <laughs> yeah, but, um, a maid. Right, a and maid. with that, now, can, do, what are the caps that you're wearing? Are they just... Caps. Caps. So, <laughs> yeah. They were made, actually, by Jilly Burton, oh, who right. is the mainstay of the house, together with Paul and the curator, Nick. Well, and I have to so, say, you, you, you know, you look the part. Thank what, you. What, what else do you do? Um, um, I'm on the My House, My Street which is oh, yes, the inputting right. of historical data online, yes. which I love. And that's what I originally signed up for and somehow ended up being a servant and doing quite a lot of washing up. We the kitchen, the kitchen. Yes, yeah. well, absolutely. Yeah. How many people have you got coming this evening? 26. 26. We can't oh. manage more. We'd love to, yes. but unless we start doing it upstairs, right. which has its own complications at the moment. There's a lot, a lot of stairs to go with all that mm. food. Mm. Safety. Oh, yeah. Don't food getting cold. Mm. Don't have no a dumb waiter. Take That's it, dumb waiter. No. Well, there's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're looking very much to uh, sampling the wonderful food. Um, has by he got pickled grapes on the menu? I don't know. He's got various pickles. Oh, pickled grapes. Oh, pickled grapes. The best. The best. The best. Well, thanks very much for that. I have a cupboard of them. Oh, do you? Well, they won't last much <laughs> no, longer. No, I bet they won't. I, they won't last much longer, no. Once they're open, it's in front of the TV. Pickled the grapes, what do you think? It's, it's, it sounds odd, but, well, I like chocolate fall. Yeah. <laughs> they're my fave. Hotly followed by the piccalilli. Yes. I don't eat anyone else's piccalilli because I don't actually like piccalilli. Oh, right. But his piccalilli isn't like other people's little piccalilli. There we are. Big <laughs> recommendation, <laughs> Paul. That's well, thank you very much well, for you. talking to us. We're going to be really thank excited. You. And, of course, Paul, are you doing any more of these events this year? Well, we've got a very special one coming up now. Um, we have a friend scheme at the Regency Townhouse. These are people that pay £25 a year to be a friend. We've given them priority booking. So five of them have already booked places for our Halloween events. Oh, wow. 31 places. Um, It will be released on the 7th um, of September to everyone else. And we expect it to be sold out within a few days after that. I mean, it's going to be really popular. We're going to do ghost stories, basically, all around the house in different, oh, in dimly lit places. And there'll be a, a menu uh, appropriate to Halloween as well. And we'll all be, this is the plan, eh? we'll be white-faced as well. Oh, gosh. So it'd be quite spooky. Ghostly. Mm-hmm. Ghostly. So if anyone wants to find out any... We, we've already looked at outfits. Oh, jolly... <laughs> <laughs> well, if anyone wants to uh, check it out and find out more information, you have a website. Um, it's just the initials, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's www.rth.org.uk. And if you can't remember that, just look up Regency Townhouse and it comes up in your favourite search engine. Brighton, Hove, right, Brighton, Hove, Hove Brunswick Square. Yeah, I mean, stick it under YouTube. Regency Towers YouTube. And we get, you can see both of us, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's like, pops there we up go. just like that. We pop up, yes. It's <laughs> too much. Well, Julia... Looking forward to the food? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. We'll let you know in due course what we think.
But in the meantime, thanks so much for listening and we'll catch you next time from the Regency Townhouse in Hove. Goodbye. Goodbye.